Hello everyone, this is Tammy. Today I'm going to show you some things I learned with Stretch Your Imagination. It's really kind of a neat cartridge. It does a lot of different things. So um, I was trying to make a card and I'm going to show you what I discovered in trying to make this card. Okay, let's get started. First of all, on page 74, I cut out the card feature. Okay, I hit the create a feature key card and it's the base key. Okay, the other image is just stretched. I decided to cut this card out at five inches. Now, I just thought I would cut it out in tan because that would be like the skin tone and then I would layer um, the white and black on it. Well, this is what I cut out. This is what happened. I realized. <laughs> that they had all these cutouts. So the face and all the skin, a lot of the skin was cut out. So I didn't really care for that. I even thought I'd back it with white. I really didn't like that. So I decided, well, I'll just cut it out in white and then I'll put a backing. I'll show you what I decided to do. So I did the same card this time I cut it out in white okay I have already added some of the black so the um, bride would already be white I just did the frame which the frame is it's the card and here's the card frame and each of those frames the shift one fits the shift uh, card up here the stretched image of the bride and groom so I um, now I cut out that I went to my ruler and measured it and it measures a little over two and a quarter but a little under two and a half so I did cut it out at two and a quarter and what I did is I cut out um, the layer because remember these layers aren't meant to go on the five inches like you cut out a card they're meant to layer on the base cuts so but I was able to cut it out at two and a quarter to fit on there and I cut them in black and then I just put the tux and the hat on the guy and I cut the frame out in black also. Now, then I also decided to cut out the blackout feature that is right here, blackout in the tan so that it would come through these little uh, cutouts that was in it. Okay, so I did that. And that wasn't too bad. I mean, that looked, it was, but I still, see how the cut out there, I just didn't really like it. Still wasn't happy with it, let's say. It's okay. So, even, I even took more backing and I thought, oh, I wonder how this would look. All backed. I mean, it looks okay, but I just still wasn't happy with it. So this is what I did. Okay, I cut out, and I've added a little bit. I cut out the card again in five inches, but I put it on my gypsy. And I used the hide contour feature, and I hid, can't see it on the girl, but all those little things that were cut out. Now I still left the lines here. I could have hid those also, but there was no sense. Then. I was able to, remember I said this cut was a little over two and a quarter, but a little under two and a half. So I think I made it 2.41. And I cut these out. And I'll place, I didn't place this on here yet because I wanted you to see that. So I really like this one. And then um, I can also put the, the white in the background. Then I also cut the frame, and I'm not sure which frame I'm going to use. I could do the, the cream frame, and I really think that looks like a really nice, really nice card. Or wedding colors, I was thinking you could go with this. Now this card, I really love. Just using the blackout feature, or you know, not using the blackout, I didn't use the blackout, using the gypsy to... Uh, hide contour some of those cutouts just made all the difference I really like this card so I also did one other thing 
Okay, I, like I said, I took it in my Gypsy, I put this in my Gypsy, and hid contour, uh, used the hide contour feature on a lot of the parts. Okay, I did one more thing. I took, let me see, I didn't even take this because this base cut still has some of these um, cut out. So I went to the blackout feature, and then I used the layers. And I also measured again, and I cut it out at just over two, at two, or two and a quarter. So then this is what I got. I cut the base in tan, or the blackout of the couple in tan, and then I um, just cut each of them out. I cut the layers out in white, and then I cut them out in black so I could get the bride dress and the tux. And then I just put them on a card. So I'm really happy with with these especially but let me get them finished up and I'll show you them all real quick okay here are my final two cards that I really liked because remember the first two I didn't like the cutout this is the one I did with the gypsy I did do some stitching you can't tell too much this is the one I did with the gypsy height contour and um, made it almost a blackout and then cut the layers uh, 2.41 to fit uh, to fit on there. So I really like that one. And then this is the one I cut out. And I cut out the bride and groom here in the blackout in tan, three and three quarter inch. So that is that card. And I stamped on your special day, and that's a pink stamper stamp from friends, friends and family. Now there is one more cut on that cartridge. And it is the silhouette. And I have used the silhouette for um, scrapbooking, and it looks really cute. So, thanks for watching.